Well, these thieves used a hammer to bash in the front door of this convenience store, and it's pretty clear they knew exactly what they were looking for. They went right for the K2 when they went inside. K2, you might remember, was involved in that high-profile murder from last week in Farmington Hills. The front door at the Sitco gas station is all boarded up after an early morning break-in. The thief or thieves used a hammer to smash through the glass, and once they were inside, it would appear they knew right where to go. An empty shelf marks the spot where 19 containers of synthetic marijuana were stolen. The plant-like substance is surging in popularity among teens and 20-somethings. They're actually marketed as herbal incense, not for human consumption. What this material is, it's, it's a plant material sprayed with chemicals, and uh, these chemicals produce uh, hallucinogenic type responses when, when, people, uh, when people use this. While the gas station clerk here in Lyon Township did not want to go on camera, off camera, he thinks whoever stole the K2 knew exactly what they were looking for. It was the only thing missing from the store. K2 made big headlines here last week in Metro Detroit. That's because police sources say Tucker Cipriano and Mitchell Young were likely using the drug during the baseball bat beatings of Bob, Rose, and Sal Cipriano. Robert did not survive. His wife and son remain in critical condition. As for K2 or fake marijuana, the DEA says it can be very dangerous. Uh, there's a lot of agitation um, and paranoia and hallucinogenic type effects from people that are using this drug. It doesn't seem to happen to everyone, uh, but certainly it's, it's, been, it's been found in many of the people that use these products. The owner of the gas station says he does have video of the incident. They have surveillance cameras in the store. It's a little hard to see the guy's face. He's wearing a hoodie. Reporting from Lyon Township, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News.